In this quick Blender tutorial, I'm gonna show you very quickly how to make some rope, just using some very simple circles. And then just two simple modifiers. One is gonna be the screw and a curve. And not only can you change the parameters of this rope by changing these circles, but you can also select the curve and you can extrude it or draw it out. And that gives you a very cool way of controlling the shape and uh, size of your rope and you can place it around something. So if you wanna learn how to do this real fast, keep watching this little tutorial and I'll quickly show you how to do it. So inside of Blender, let's select the default objects and press delete. We're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to our mesh options, let's add in a circle. Under our circle options here, let's just make that 12 vertices and close it. Let's tab back into edit mode now with this and go G, Y and move it over to the side. So we have our um, origin point here in the middle. We're then gonna to go to our modifiers. We're gonna go add modifier and let's give this a screw. Now, if we go here to the screw iterations, let's just make that something like 2.8 meters for now. Let's go into our front orthographic view. So with all of this active, let's just go R in our front orthographic view and just rotate it. And let's go about this much like that. And now we have a little bit of rope here and we can come here to the iterations and increase it, but this is not rope yet. So what we're gonna do so we're gonna go G, Y and move it out even a little bit from the middle. And then we're gonna to go to our top orthographic view and let's just disable this for now in the viewport. Let's just go to our 3D um, cursor for the pivot transform. And we're gonna go Shift D, R, 120 in our top orthographic view and press enter. And then go Shift R to repeat that. So now we have three of these like that. Let's change this back to median point and let's turn the screw modifier back on in our viewport. And now we have this. So now all we have to do is go to the screw um, amount here and just increase that till it's not intersecting as much. And now we have some rope. Let's also go um, to the iterations and just quickly bump it back down to two for now. I'm gonna tab back out. Now we have some rope, but we want a way to deform this. So what we're gonna do in our front view is we're gonna go Shift A and let's go add in a curve and let's add in a bezier. And with this bezier curve here, um, we wanna have that deforming this. So let's select our rope object. Under our modifiers, let's give it a curve modifier. Click on this little eyedropper and up here in the scene collection, just click on bezier curve. And what we can do now is we can select the bezier curve, tab into edit mode. And you're gonna see here it's got uh, two handles. Here is one handle on this side and one on this side. So let's select this handle here. Let's just go E to extrude it to make the Bezier curve a little bit longer over here. Let's move the middle one and rotate it. So you can see we have these three handles that make up the Bezier curve. And we want this to follow along. So let's tab back out. Let's select a rope object. And let's go over here and let's make it Z on the deform axis. And if we now go over here and um, we come to our iterations, we should be able to, if we bump it up to three, we're gonna see it, it now follows along that curve. So let's make it four, for example. Let's just select our Bezier curve again, tab into edit mode. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the whole thing and I'm just gonna rotate it like so, and then place it over here. And then we're gonna have this last handle here at the bottom. And now what we can do is select this very top handle on the Bezier curve. We can go G and move it, and we can go E to extrude. And I'm gonna just scale it up a little bit, rotate it, and I'm gonna go E to extrude again. And at this point, what you're gonna do is you can make this, you can extrude this curve however you want. You can scale the handles, um, and this will be your rope. So this is up to you. Don't forget you can use the draw tool, so you can delete all of this, and then just use the draw tool um, to draw um, the curves. But for now, I'm just gonna extrude like this. And so I have an example, I'm gonna tab back out. Now I'm gonna select my rope and just give it some more iterations. And you can see here, it follows along. So by using these two simple modifiers, you can make rope however you want. You can at any time select your um, Bezier curve. You can come in here, clean up the handles, scale things, extrude things. It's completely up to you how you wanna do this. So. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on making rope. And I'll quickly show you guys actually how you can make a quick material. Let's just quickly go into the shading workspace. Let's just click on new 
and let's just come over here and go shift a search and let's just get a noise texture get a noise texture let's just drag the vector and let's just type in mapping and let's just drag the vector over here and let's just type in texture coordinate and get a texture coordinate let's make it object and let's come over here to the z component on the scale and make it 20 and let's come here to the scale and make it three and let's enable our cycles render engine let's make it gpu and under the render let's make it uh, 50 samples if we now go z and go rendered um, let's just also go to our world settings let's just give this a sky texture I'm just going to go to my render and under the film, I'm going to enable transparent. So now we have a rope lit up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color output and plug it into the roughness and then go shift a search and get a color ramp, place it on this cable here and then increase these two values together. And then I'm going to go shift a search and get a bump, grab a bump node and then feed this color into the height and feed this normal into the normal of the principled. And then just simply come here and give your rope a color of choice. And now you can see it has this kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but we have this kind of rope texture going on here. So this is a very simple kind of way of doing it. You guys can make a much more advanced texture. Um, it's completely up to you how you wanna approach this. Mess around with the roughness if you want to, um, but this is how to make a simple rope in Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time for another one.